Hi Leos, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. We're going to do your Feb 1 to 7 read. Let's see the messages for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Leos. Since this is a general reading, so some parts may or may not resonate. For more accuracy, reach out for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I also do white prayer based spells for your highest good and we have intention charged personalized crystals for you. Pure, pure crystals and uh, check out more details on my Instagram and we're coming up with short free predictions for Feb on Instagram so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign Leo's do like share and comment in the end of this video let's see what's coming for you Leo's this is going to be a detailed read love career health everything uh okay leo's read have been pretty inspiring lately let's see what's coming in this month first week of february one to seven let's see the messages okay so oh wow you definitely have a new beginning coming in and this new beginning involves you being in a relationship with someone that really wants to be with you that really cares for you okay I feel like this person is going to make a lot of efforts. I'm seeing you starting a whole new chapter after being confused for a pretty long time. Should I leave this person or should I stick to them? Because you fear that you might not find someone new in your life that can change your life. But the good news is that this, the one that has been treating you absurdly, is not the one that's meant for you. If you're already in a happy relationship, very good. Keep going. You're already there. But if you've been with someone that has been like in and out every time and you're confused whether you should end this and move on or try to fix things, I'm sensing there's a clear message for you that something major is coming, okay? If you are ready to start this new cycle, I feel this new chapter in your life is going to change the whole scenario of your love life. I'm seeing there's going to be uh, like a lot of... Uh, it's it's more like a fairy tale kind of a romance that you're attracting okay right now all you want is just being uh just to be left alone i feel like right now you just want to contemplate think whether you are uh whatever you're doing is right or wrong i'm also seeing that you're very focused on your own uh growth okay and you want that you must focus on your you know profession your work or you're analyzing your work focusing on your health and how do i improve myself day by day so a lot is going on around personal development self-development well what you don't see is there's a new chapter that's starting in your life that will shake you and that will make you feel like yeah I don't want to be alone anymore. I want to be with this person. So your dreams are coming into fruition, simple and easy. And I am seeing that there's someone that's consistently approaching you. I feel this person is in no rush and they're coming towards you with a solid, you know, uh, offer. And I'm seeing consistency there. I'm seeing this person is not going to be someone that is, um, that's going to be in and out or they are sure that you're the one that they want to be with. This is going to change your life because you feel special. The way they, they will be treating you is like you're the only person on this planet. You're so special for them. It's like you're the star in their life. So some of you Leos, if you're working on your goals, I'm seeing you will get great success. Okay, you might be, uh, you might be recognized. Um, you know, um, may get promoted to something very like very big promotion. I'm seeing something very big coming your way. Some of you might be in public eye. There's a major, major popularity coming in with whatever you're doing right now. Okay. So you will be a star in a lot of people's eyes and this person will be just so smitten by you. It's like a love at first sight kind of a thing. Some of you, this could be an Aquarius, Sagittarius or a Virgo. Okay. right so you're thinking you're planning or walking away 
you're walking away either from your job, you want to pursue something that you've been dreaming about. For some of you, it's like walking away from a stressful connection that was pretty in and out from your life, okay? So you want your place, you want to be left alone so that you can analyze what's going on and how you can change things for good in the long run. So you're actually literally walking out from something that doesn't have enough to offer you. <clears throat> okay, when we have, wow. You're about to change your life. I feel you are in this uh, game of manifestation where you definitely are manifesting your deepest desires, your deepest goals. It's like whatever you want, you know, you're getting it. The universe is offering you whatever you want. So your manifestations are coming true. Okay. I feel like you don't have to really make efforts. It's just you ask for it and the universe provides so that is your energy right now. You get what you want without even going after it or being desperate for it. It's like your universe is blessing you with everything that you ever desired deeply. You have all the resources to turn things around the way you want, no matter whatever it is. Okay. Maybe you want to buy uh, or build a dream house. Maybe you want to get a dream job, a promotion. Maybe you want to be the best leader in your work maybe you want to make a lot of money or you want a relationship whatever you want it's like the universe is like just ask for it i'm gonna provide you that's what your energy is going to be in this uh, 2023 all the time okay so you're going to be lucky enough wow there's someone that's approaching you I feel like the one that I was telling you about, this person is someone that's highly intelligent, likes to keep a serious face. You might see them as cold, you know, when you meet them, but this is not someone that is actually cold. The more you get to know this person, you'll find that this person is more logical and practical. But when they're with someone, they're going to be loyal for the lifetime. This person values relationship, commitments, love, money, everything. So they have... You know, they have built a lot from scratch and they value the energy and time and everything, you know. So they've sacrificed a lot in their life in the past. Maybe they don't have a parent. So they have had to, you know, live their life with all the struggle and they did it all by themselves. And so they value relations. I feel the one that's coming into your life is someone that wants to be in a lifetime relationship with you. Okay, this is someone that might be right now observing you. So they're taking their time and they want to be slow because they don't want to rush into things and end up losing you. So they are being careful. Okay, but this is definitely someone that has fallen in love with you the moment they saw you and wants to be in a relationship. This is something that they're very, very clear about. They could be in academics. They could be someone that's highly intelligent, loves to read. Uh, has their own, you know, position, name, fame, power. They're, they're a powerful person that you're attracting. With the Ten of Pentacles, they definitely see you as someone that they would want to have kids with. They can see a future with you. They want to get married to you. They see you as someone that's pretty equal to them. They can see that they can grow with you because you bring the best out of this person. That's what they think that this will happen. So finally, your search ends and I feel you are about to be with someone that is wanting to marry you. And then we have the queen of swords. You guys might be professionally linked with each other. There is no involvement of uh, emotions, but you guys either are not showing your emotions or right now not aware that this is the one for you because it's sort of a, per, a professional meeting or a professional connection and then how this person reaches out and proposes you for marriage is going to be like shocking for you okay so initially it's like uh you're just keeping it you know professional and they're keeping it professional but this person is like the moment they saw you they have something going on and they're about to make a proposal and they're planning about it you guys are pretty much on the same page. You you guys are equally successful. Both have recognition or will get recognized majorly. On a major scale, you both will be recognized or this person is already recognized. You guys together are going to make a lot of money. Some of you, it's like two lawyers. You know, that's how I feel. 
and i'm sensing this is your soulmate because you're like king and queen of uh swords i feel your person has had a recent divorce or a breakup with someone and that has made them feel alone and maybe you've also had gone through the tough situation or tough time in the recent past and that brings you guys together so you both understand and value each other and can step into each other's shoes and understand what the other person is going through so you guys really are able to adjust with each other beautifully so this is a beginning this is a new beginning that you are going to manifest with this person i feel you guys are going to spend a lot of good time together you guys are going to be like uh sitting together talking about beautiful things out in the you know warm weather or just um, going to the mountains and spending vacation together it's like just sitting together having a cup of tea and sharing good times i feel that's how this beautiful connection is going to be okay but i feel like here efforts are required someone is too slow i feel like it's this person that's taking a lot of time or they think that you're taking a lot of time but i feel like one person who's taking a lot of time in making a decision needs to just speed up a bit okay seven of pentacles you guys definitely have a lot of options i'm also seeing a lot of money related opportunities doors opening up for you you guys will make merry with the with the task that you've been provided and how easily you will be accomplishing all the tasks and i feel like passing all tests becoming successful so with patience will come a lot of success to you and i feel like you may have other options that you're completely ignoring because you're happy wherever you are but then there is this one person with whom you guys are taking slowly forward i feel like this person also wants to take things slow with you because this is about a lifetime commitment this is not a short term thing and both are practical and logical in their own ways so yeah you're also enjoying the you know fruit of your karma it's like the karma is giving you the best whatever you've deserved it's being showered to you right now and the universe is giving you soon you'll see yourself married soon you'll see yourself as either pregnant if if you're a female watching this or your person will get pregnant but what i'm seeing over here is that um you are soon going to be in a deep commitment i feel like there's a lot of stability because you're single or you're with someone negative you're not feeling very stable or balanced but with this person coming into your life there's a lot of balance and stability comes in there's a hell lot of prosperity and i feel like you feel more grounded than ever before and ready to take steps towards the next phase of your life It's like you're very in tune with your personal power. You have the freedom to express and be your own person. You have the power to even buy a new house and do things that make you happy and join classes that make you like that brings joy, like hobby classes and if you can do shopping the way you want. It's like you just you're the boss of your life. Very soon you'll see yourself in that place. So Leo, as I feel with this person, you're going to enjoy your life and there's going to be a lot of silence a lot of peace not really silence it's a lot of peace in this connection there's a lot of comfort in this connection you guys are not showing off or not showing up showing up the world even it's like beautiful you guys just know that we're we're meant for each other we're there for each other this this um undying trust for each other it's not like you're overdoing it there's no drama involved there's just beautiful silence and in this silence there is love you know that's the energy that i'm getting you may have a cap a cancer or a capricorn maybe yes coming in and then we have the seven of swords okay why did this come out in this beautiful read okay let me see the fool the death some of you have dealt with a scorpio that has been lying to you obsessively and i feel this could be an aquarius as well you finally feel freedom after letting go of this person i feel like this person has been pretty in and out and has been blocking and unblocking you and now that they've cutting the cord for you this time you're really happy 
this person is not leaving because they won't come back ever this person is leaving because they can come back whenever and any time they want and i feel this time you're going to be completely cutting the cords with them you're no more into this person you're feeling like you've got that freedom that you were looking for after this ending okay after this person leaving you behind so if you're dealing with a scorpio you can check out my scorpio channel as well and do subscribe and see what's going on <clears throat> I feel like someone, if you release someone from your life, they'd still be stalking you secretly, but you cannot trust them. Judication. It's time for you to decide to get married. It's time that you will be in a deep commitment. Yes, the one that you were with or you're trying to get rid of is not the honest person. It's not the one that genuinely loves you. If you doubt this, this is true. They don't genuinely love you. Some of you are going through a divorce process. I feel like some of you are in 30s. But whatever it is, it's meant for good. Okay, Because you're going to end up with someone genuine. Someone is in love. For some of you, it's like you're going through a law-related situation with some where this person is putting all the blame on you. But I feel like you will be succeeding because the court knows who's right and who's wrong. So you will be getting success if there's some sort of a court-related situation and you will be the one that is going to get the money from it. Okay? So money is coming through. And what else? Any channel message? Oops. I remember each and every detail. I feel like this person has badly treated you in the recent past. Someone has badly treated you, which you still are not able to forget. Okay. And you're going to be taking revenge or there is a court related situation going on between you guys where you're not ready to leave or back off. You want the answer. You want the justice. So you will get it. Okay. What else in love coming in? Forgiving and learning. From now onwards, I'm seeing you're making an effort to let go of the past and not clinging on to it anymore and dying for it anymore. Because you know that you deserve love and nothing less than that. You've started to value yourself beyond this person. There's going to be a hell lot of passion between you guys, this person coming in. And the one that comes in now is the one that will sweep you off your feet and is the one that's going to marry you. What else? So I feel like this connection is going to be a success that's coming in. There's going to be a lot of trust between you guys. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of value between you guys will build a solid foundation and don't rush into things. I feel as I told you, this person wants to take it slow because they've also gone through a major uh, problem in the past, in the recent past. So the past is now behind you. Release it and start the new journey. Okay. For my Leos. Are you enjoying this already? Don't forget to like this video and comment down what part is resonating with you. The fate. This is someone that's gonna come into your life not by not by luck, not by chance, but by fate. This is someone that was always meant to be a part of your life. This is your soulmate that you're attracting. Okay, so get ready for this new life, this new beginning. It's going to help you open your wings as well because this person is not going to judge you for who you are as a person, what you want to do in your life. Remain positive because something good, something really rare and loving is coming towards you. Real soon. So finally, you're getting healed and take time to breathe take time to relax i'm also seeing mirror exercise will really help you if you felt a low self-esteem lately because of this person like just look at the mirror and you know admire each and every part of your body and do it frequently to help your to help reprogram your brain okay i'm seeing a lot of healing is coming because this person comes with a lot of love and you know respect for you and you will value this person because of how they value this relationship you guys will have a strong bond and it's like you guys can't live without each other you guys will have kids as well this is like moving towards life moving towards happiness this is a new beginning where you guys will have a strong strong relationship there's no one that can pull this you know like can break you guys to, from each other I feel like this is also a part of your divine life purpose that you're meant to meet this person. While you're moving towards your journey to meet your soulmate, you're also experiencing a lot of other things that build you uh, and make you the person who you're meant to be. So value it and thank universe what you're doing. What else? 
some of you have their birthdays on 6th okay I'm seeing some of you are artists or your person is or you guys may be into yoga so whatever it is it just makes you feel good about yourself so keep doing what makes you happy I feel that's how you will be um, you know aligning yourself with the universe easily that's that's going to bring a lot of peace and you will feel like your all chakras are healing open they're open and activated it's time for you to make a decision i feel if you're still going to stick to the past and think that i'm going to fix this or i'm going to fix someone that's been pretty in and out then you're still stuck in the rock and i feel like you need to come out of this okay so some of you are unaware of what's coming in your life and i feel like sometimes we should not know exactly what is happening what's about to happen universe doesn't want you to because if things are not happening naturally to you there's no excitement left so the universe wants to keep some things mysterious for you so that the excitement remains and it surprises you so hold your vision stick to your goal whatever you have on your mind i feel like you definitely make it okay and surrender don't like to like don't try to pull it don't try to fix it it's all gonna get automatically aligned with your you know with your wish once you surrender you have a sagittarius coming in you have what else then we have some of you aquarius pisces cancer these are some signs that you may be coming across and now i'm gonna pull off from aries to pisces what does your person feel about you leos Aries. Aries is, uh, I feel like this person is scared of commitment. Maybe you need to give this person a little more time because they like you. They want to be in a relationship, but they're scared of losing their freedom. If this is a younger person, especially Taurus is more like, let's, let's see, let's see how things roll. And the Gemini is more about let's get married. They see you as their counterpart. And the cancer is so excited to know you. I feel like something is stressing them. Maybe their family is pushing them to marriage and they want you instead of the other person. Some of you, this is a very reserved person. And then we have Leo. Leo is going to chase you hard. And we have Virgo. Virgo is obsessing over you. This, this person is just going nuts over you. This person is like crazy attracted. Libra is going to bring a love offer. Major commitment coming in, guys. This person is about to come. And we have Scorpio. Scorpio is in love with you, but they're finding it hard to express because of their past experience. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ending this, moving on. Or the Sagittarius is more about like, let's have a new beginning. And you're like a wish come true. Yes, this person's recently had a divorce or a breakup. Capricorn is madly in love with you. Then we have Aquarius is like stuck on you. I feel like you made this person realize a part of life that they never experienced. And so they want to experience it again. But then they're stuck with something. Maybe they have someone else. Pisces. Let's see. Pisces is right now, I feel like unsure and is not able to decide due to some reason or the other. I feel like this Pisces needs some time because maybe they're more work oriented right now and they need some time. But they definitely cannot afford to lose you. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the read. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Do share it. I'll see you again, Leos. Uh, I'll take a lead. Bye.